I'm so, so touched to be given this award. And I accept it on behalf of the very many people I work with at the United Nations Joint Program on UNAIDS, leading and coordinating the global effort to end this dreadful scourge of AIDS. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm really honored to receive it from President Tala Halonen. She might not remember me, but I could never forget her. Because many years ago, when the discussions on climate change were beginning to pick momentum, and there were still many skeptics, she knew that climate justice, that climate change was real, and that climate, change, climate justice was required. We went to her, I was work, I'm with my friends from, who have come to join me. I've got my family, Ernest and Carol, who are young Africans working here in America, studied here in America. I've got my friend, Randy Davis, from UNDP. I worked with her. We went to President Hala Halonen and asked her, we said to her, no one is paying attention to the differential impacts of climate on men and women. Women are being left behind. They are, meeting, they are facing the impacts, but they are not in this negotiation. She put her money and her leadership behind getting women to be part of the climate negotiations. She asked us, to go and bring them and make sure that they are in each delegation. She said, do whatever you want. The bureaucrats at the UN were saying, governments have their power. They bring whoever they want. And she said, I have my resources. And if you can use them to bring women to the table, do that. And we found clever ways of bringing women, training them, getting them to create a space in the climate negotiations to make sure that the interests of women and girls, particularly in developing countries, are addressed in the climate negotiations. So I couldn't be humbler, I couldn't be happier than to receive the word from you, President of Finland then, Tala Halonen. You moved an agenda. So thank you so much. Um, but, but I have to say that I want to honor very much the poet Nizam Ganjavi, who gathers all of you here and in front of whom I am. He was a bridge builder. He believed in helping neighbors and friends. He held respect for other cultures. He was a champion for the rights of women. He was a man ahead of his times. So to receive an honor in his name, indeed, gives me great joy and pride. In one of his poems, he said, the only seed worth growing is the seed of goodness. The seed of goodness. May we all in this room continue to fight and build multilateralism. It's all we have. It is where we can strive together for peace, for prosperity, for good lives for everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I want also to honor Mariana, whom I also met as part of this network, a founding board member of NGIC. She will be deeply missed. But the spirit of the poet lives on, and I'm happy and proud to receive your award. Thank you.